Welcome to the Wireframe Tutorial Workbench. The Wireframe Tutorial Workbench is slightly unique in that it doesn't uh, rely as much on sketches, it just uses 3D geometry to create most of its uh, objects. This tutorial will be going over more how to create lines as opposed to surfaces. The surfaces will be covered in a future tutorial. So let's get started. Start out, um, show you how to make a point anywhere we want. As you can see, we've got a variety of geometry here. So if I wanted to make a point, I could make a point pretty much anywhere. I can use coordinates of your system, or I'm going to put a coordinate point on a surface. I'm going to select this surface, and now I can put a point anywhere I want to on this surface. And you can use um, the course placement which gets it approximately close or you could use the fine placement which puts it exactly where you want to put it. So I'm going to put a point right there. Say OK. So now I've got my point on that surface. Uh, next I'm going to show you how to make lines. So we're going to go ahead and make a line. And the fun part about lines is you can make them again pretty much any way you can come up with. I'm going to make it tangent to a curve. So I'm going to select this curve and I'm going to select this point. I'm going to make it longer so you can see it. Putting in five inches. Now as you can see right now that line is just straight off of that point there. Uh, one of the fun filled uh, things you can do with wireframes you can actually make lines follow a curve. So if I say my support is this curve then um, I can make it uh, follow that curve wherever it goes. So as you can see here, a little better maybe. Kind of losing it. There we go. So you can uh, see it just kind of follows that curve down there and if we make it longer, six inches or whatever, it will continue following that curve wherever it goes. Um, say sure, we'll use that. Um, next thing you can do, you can make a line, for example, um, tangent to various curves. Um, if it ever has more than one solution option it will ask you which one you want. So let's say we want to say the tangent between there and there. So you can see there are several ways to solve that. If you simply hit next solution you can get through a variety of line choices. Let's say we want that one. So there you've created your line. Um, Another fun feature you can use in the wireframe is you can make a multi-line. So you simply hit various uh, lines, there we go, and you can make a line there, you can make it go down to here, you can go up over to here now, you can just put it, oh, there we go, you can put it wherever you want to put it, and then you can add, uh, for example, you can click on these and you can change it, so let's say we want point three to have a radius on it, you can see the radius changing. Um, you can do this also with a spline, you can make a multi-spline. Uh, most of these features are similar across most of the, uh, what I would call the sketching tools, so circles, rectangles, lines, they all do, can be made to a surface or in 3D space. Um, I'll just show you real quick how to make a datum plane. There's a variety of ways to make a datum in 3D, uh, 3D points here. So let's say we want to make a normal to a curve, and we'll say this curve, and there it is. And we'll say we'll even make it at this point, and there it's at that point, or I want to make it at this point. Uh, up here, you can move it around. I could make a curve anywhere along here. I could also, there's other options to make multiple planes along your uh, piece here in case you want to make multiple sections along a sweep. Uh, so we can do that. Also, you can make um, just quick 3D objects. For example, this is a sphere that was made. And using the sphere tool, you can uh, change how far it's actually making its sphere. You can make it a full sphere, uh, and so on and so forth. You can do the same thing with cylinders over here at the cylinder tool. You can also use, uh, by defining a point and an axis, you can make a helix like this over here. And uh, that's about all we have to show you for this tutorial.